Good evening. I'm Xavier Colvin, and this is my topic of Alan Locke and George Schuyler debating on the New Negro. <clears throat> but before I start, I will inform you on what the New Negro is and define the Harlem Renaissance. Okay. The Harlem Renaissance was a cultural movement that spanned throughout the 1920s and 1930s which many say was a cultural movement. A cultural movement is a change in the way that a number of different people approach their work. At the time, it was known as the term by Alan Locke, the New Negro Movement. <laughs> this movement was very significant to black people. It was, it was centered in the Harlem neighborhood of New York City. But also, many French-speaking black writers from African and Caribbean colonies who lived in Paris were also influenced by the Harlem Renaissance. Therefore, letting you know that it did not just stay in one spot. It expanded throughout the United States and throughout the world. <laughs> Thus bringing up the quote, New Negro. People were unaware of the coming of the New Negro. The New, Neg the new Negro is pictured as a successful businessman with the hat and the suitcase rather than the shovel and the pick. And I've seen that on Google. <laughs> so far, as he is culturally articulate, we shall let the new Negro speak for himself. People were so astounded by the new Negro that they weren't able to quite understand what made the quote unquote new Negro. <laughs> George Schuyler believe that there was no such thing as the new, new Negro. He believed that there was no such thing as black art. He also believed that black people did not create their own style because we just simply copied the traditional beings of whites or traditional Americans. Alan Locke believed that the new Negro was significant and that the new Negro had done something that has never been done before ah whereas George Schuyler believe nothing that the blacks have done was created on their own they just seen something that they like that white people or traditional Americans have done and they decide to make it their own or to do something on their own, thus making it the new Negro from Alan Locke because black people never done anything for themselves. They stood out for a change. And as you can see, or as you heard, George and Alan have very different views on this subject. George did not believe that the new Negro is significant or that there was a new Negro quote unquote while Allen believed that the new Negro was significant and he came up with the term new Negro so you see why he would have to go against what George is saying because he created the term new Negro thank you have a good day